Hi guys, it's your friendly hygienist Jenny. I miss you guys so much. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody's brushing and flossing and listening to uh, to my little whiny voice in the back of their head um, telling you all about hygiene and bacteria and all that fun stuff. Um, no, but in all seriousness, I hope everybody's happy and healthy and uh, staying sane and staying safe. But did want to send you a couple videos so uh, about oral hygiene because that's what I do and that's what I love and that's what's um, going to keep you guys healthy during this until us hygienists can get back out into the world and be able to take care of you and uh, address all of your oral health care needs and everything. So we're going to talk about flossing. Uh, flossing once a day, every 24 hours, remove that bacteria, get that bacteria. Um, minimize, kill some of those that bacteria, and disrupt that biofilm, that slimy stuff that builds up on our teeth. So, uh, floss, I used to be big into Glide uh, until I found something called Cocoa Floss. I love it. They just sell, started selling it in Target. It's amazing. And um, it's a little thicker. I think it grabs onto the bacteria, the biofilm, a little bit more than the Glide does. Still like Glide. It's nice and smooth. It's really good for when you have really tight teeth and tight contacts. Um, but Cocoa Floss is what I would recommend right now. Uh, Hayden Expanding Floss is also another really good one. Um, it kind of, once it gets wet, it thickens up a little bit, but it's still able to get into really tight contacts. So Cocoa Floss comes in a bunch of different flavors. Um, it's not so many flavors as much as it is scent, but it makes it a little fun um, to want to be able to floss. And I know some uh, friends of mine, they get it for their kids because it helps encourage them. They have coconut and strawberry and all sorts of different flavors. So um, a piece of floss, you want about an arm's length show you an arm's length. I did mine a little short just for demonstration, but you do want one arm's length. When I was in hygiene school, I did two arm's lengths and my teacher told me, no, Jenny, we don't need that much floss. So one arm's length. Um, then you want to wrap it around your middle finger, not your pointer finger, middle finger to help you get into the back areas and it'll be easier to access. So I'm going to show you on my own now. Might be some popcorn in there, but um, when I wrap around my middle fingers, my pointer fingers and my thumb is more accessible to be able to get into there and I'm not sticking my whole hand into my mouth. So I'm going to go all the way in the back and I can wrap it around that back tooth and kind of lasso it behind there and I can get all four corner teeth. And then for the other areas, I'm going to use my thumb and my pointer finger. So once I get in there, I'm going in between the contact, back and forth, pushing down. And then I am, once I'm in there, I can give my tooth a hug on both sides, go up and down twice and then go around that little triangle up and down the other way. Every couple teeth I'll uh, switch it so that I have a newer piece of floss. And uh, that's about it for flossing. 24 hours, once a day. You can do it. It takes about a minute. Do it. Get that bacteria out. Give your immune system something else to have to worry about instead of the bacteria in your mouth. And then you'll have happier, healthier visits when you are able to come back and see us and we can uh, visit with you again. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and we'll talk soon. Bye.